The tradition continues. As you're about to see, the Folk Medicine Festival makes its annual return to downtown Red Boiling Springs. The annual Folk Medicine Festival opens to cloudy skies and a small but energetic crowd. Mother Nature didn't exactly cooperate this time around. As long as I can remember, it's been rain or shine. So uh, we just tell people to come on out, don't worry about the, the rain. That mostly Facebook, you know, that was one of the posts that said, don't worry about a little water. So. Uh, you know, there are tents, shelters, places to get under, people need to. We want to, you know, provide whatever people need to come enjoy themselves. For the people who did show up and visit the vendors, you can tell they're happy they made the trip. There are always a lot of cool things to see here. One of the bigger draws is the annual quilt show held at the Red Boiling Springs Church of Christ. And Barefoot Farmer Jeff Poppin is always gracious to host a question and answer session, this time at the historic Armour Hotel. Yeah, who would have thought that 50 years ago that I'd have been a gardener, I'd be famous as a gardener. I thought I was going to be a rock and roll star like Pink Floyd and all that. <laughs> of course, this festival is more than just learning about herbs and medicine. is also a medicine. <laughs> we try to incorporate as much music as we can. Um, and, you know, in the past there's been, you know, the village stage, which we didn't get to do that this year, but um, it may return next year. We'll just have to wait and see. But, uh, yeah, of all genres, we want to try to get as much, because, you know, bluegrass and country and gospel, uh, it's always been such a big part of this area. So, uh, and I, you know, that's who we are. It takes many hours and several volunteers to help pull this festival off each year. But those involved say it's worth it. Any hard work will hopefully pay off. <laughs> um, you know, to sit back after the festival and, and see this, remember, you know, the pictures and, and to see the smiling faces and uh, how much people seem to enjoy themselves and that they might want to come back again and again and again and spread the word. Uh, uh, it's, it's very fulfilling if, uh, if you put, put you back into it. <laughs> Here's hoping for sunny skies at next year's Folk Medicine Festival. Reporting from Red Boiling Springs, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.